This is the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 7, and it reads, Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power? First and foremost, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is the God of the living, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shabarach, Wadash, which is our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten, and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, who is our strength and our redeemer, and our light and our salvation. In the same tongue, in the pale of Hebrew, and go ahead and utter Mashana, Kabawaiim, Lahasukwanim, Shal, Gadarabakab, many double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true shepherds of Israel, Lord, the like minded Sukwani, while I came across the four corners of the earth. Also pushing sound doctrine and faith, truth and sincerity. It shall warm honest salutations to by Yashad Awadah, the house of David. Along with the rest of the one third elect, men, women, and children of Israel. And this is your fellow servant, Malak Rayab. She back at it again. Another epistle through the spirit of prophecy. Reading the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Amashak Abishai. Uh, specifically dealing with the downfall of the old who become mighty in power. Okay, through the prophecy of the earth being given to the wicked hands in Job, the ninth chapter. And this is why they. Uh, these devils, these Edomites, mainly the, the, the Zionist bankers, the Amalekites, the chief Amalekites, all right, owns, uh, you know, owns the world. All right, through the, um, the central banks, the IMF, all right, 96% of the, the global media outlets for the control of narratives uh, through the, through the uh, uh, you know, through their propaganda, all right, to try to proclaim and profess that they are the people the chosen people of the Lord when they are not, when they don't fit the prophecies of the ancient Israelites, especially by way of what uh, the terms in which they refer to themselves as, which are nowhere in the scriptures, man. All right. Um, so as you can see here, this damn devil, this old decrepit, leprous devil, uh, Jacob Rothschild, all right, which is ancestor of um, uh, Walter Lionel Rothschild, well, who established the Buffalo Declaration uh, to further, you know, create uh, the Israelis. All right, uh, for any further perpetrate the fraud that they're us, um, you, you, you know, uh, this devil has been added to the, the the growing list of devils that have kicked the bucket within the last uh, the last few years, starting with um, as far back as 2017 when uh, David Rocker uh, uh, David Rockefeller, you know, kicked the bucket at age one on one, um, despite seven different heart transplants. Okay, from Jake, okay, which is what that movie um. Get Out was based off of, all right, David Rockefeller still kicked the bucket. And then uh, a few years later, um, Prince Philip kicked the bucket, okay? And then uh, Alan Rothschild kicked the bucket a few years ago. It's already been two years since he's been dead. And then um, uh, Queen Elizabeth kicked the bucket, man. So those are, those are, some, those are some pretty prominent figures of the, the Edomite Confederacy that have dropped dead. Okay, and then you have this devil that just added it to the list. So they don't have they don't they don't have anyone really standing that's that's very well known, uh, except for their offspring. Okay, so I'm going to bring this out. It says you can see here. You see what it says here. All right. Um, it says Lord Jacob's uh, Jacob uh, Rothschild. You know the, the devil don't even deserve that that surname or title. It says Jacob's passing. Uh, Jacob Rothschild's passing reminds us of the key role. The Rothschild played in the Israelis' creation and growth, which I just spoke about. Jacob's great un um, uncle, Walter, was directly addressed in the historic Balfour Declaration that supported a condom hat state. Walter Rothschild's friendship with Israel's first president, Chaim Wiseman, highlights the family's significant influence in early Zionist efforts. All right. All right. So he uh, ended up leaving his offspring. You know, leaving his fortune to his offspring. It says here, my name is Jacob Rothschild. My family's worth $500 trillion. We own nearly every central bank in the world. <laughs> we finance both sides of every war since Napoleon. We own your news, the media, your oil, and your government. You have probably never heard of me. Well, now you devils have become more of a, a household name because, you know, people are becoming more privy to your satanic devices, which which ultimately has led to you. And uh, Fred identified who you are. And which is a devil, okay, uh, according to biblical prophecy, who was created to steal, murder, and destroy, pursuing the St. John 10 chapter. And this is the only reason why you're ruling right now. You are not ruling out of nobility, okay, on the right-hand side, you know, in terms of morality, integrity, and righteousness, uh, more importantly, but rather the nobility on the left-hand side. You know, hence why in, in Psalm 149 chapter, prophesies how the, the, uh, the, um, the noble shall be bound with uh, fetters of iron. I mean, meaning you devil's gonna, you're gonna, uh, when I wound up in chains, especially all of the, the dead Edomites I mentioned of, you know, the, the, the chief upper echelon 
status of uh, this Edomite hegemony, okay, will wake up in chains. All right, right now, you know, it was well, as it is at this point, they have already received their judgment in the spiritual realm, uh, but before the, the righteous throne room, okay, uh, of Yahweh by Shemeshai, which will play out on earth in captivity for a thousand years before it eradicated, they and their nation eradicated off the earth for destroying the earth, all right, through their satanic devices, all right, um, including the Holy Land. Okay, all right, through bloodshed, carnality, okay, pursuing the name of the third chapter, and so forth. Refer to identify who these devils are, you know, their wicked, vile, profane nature. Okay, pursuing the Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and so forth. All right, you know, so that was, that was, uh, you know, so that was pretty much the point. Yep, Jacob Rothschild, the son of Satan, one of the most evil people in the world, has died at age 87. All right, and then, um, there was a painting or an image or a photo that he took with a known Satanist. You go ahead and bring that out. As you can see here, um, as soon as I can pull it, as soon as I can locate the, the photo. All right, let me, let me jump up a bit. Uh, I don't know. All right, this devil. Here it is. Jacob Rothschild photographed with Satanist Marina Abramovich in front of a 1797 painting titled Satan Summoning His Legions. And that's why in um, the book of Exodus, the 22nd chapter says, Thou shalt not suffer which shall live. Now this devil is maggot food, okay? You know, for living this satanic lifestyle, all right? And, and in further, you know, in influencing the world, all right, to follow suit by, by, uh, by way of the satanic council, all right? So there's another dead, decrepit, uh, 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 old devil that was great in power that's kicked the bucket. There's another omen that Esau is falling and losing his rulership. All right, Job 21 and 7. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power? Their seed is established in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is a rod of the Most High upon them. All right, because they don't fear the Most High. All right. Um... So with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, Ezekiel. All right, so I'm going to you know, grab Ezekiel 35. And uh, 10. You know, before I do, I'm going to grab this one. This is the book of Psalm. Chapter 73, verse 7, and it reads, Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Right, especially through this petrodollar where there's really no limit to printing out this petrodollar. You know, further printing debt into the atmosphere, but yet, all right, it still has a, a value um, for the fact that this system hasn't been collapsed yet. It hasn't, it hasn't been, um, you know, it hasn't collapsed at this point. All right. But I, but even even uh in the midst of this this system still being attacked, you know the petrodollar is further depreciating value as we speak because it's no longer it, it's been removed from the gold and the, the the gold standard. All right, going back to the 1930s when uh Franklin D Roosevelt passed that uh social security tax. All right, then he had the gold crisis in the 70s. All right, around the time of the um you know uh, uh you know oil rationing and so forth. All right. You know, when there was a, a hyperinflation, you know, of, of uh, you know, meat and so forth. All right. And it's going to intensify now within the, within the, 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 the uh, prophecy, the plagues. All right. Including famine that's going to come. All right. By way of this orchestrated collapse where people are not going to be able to buy goods and services as they normally would, uh, you know, in America, Babylon the Great. So, uh, but these devils are good. They have uh, underground bunkers, you know, to try to, you know, protect themselves from this uh this thermonuclear onslaught in his last world's war harm god but that's not going to suffice because you devils uh pursuing a son of 149 child are going to be rounded up from underground okay you know and and uh, apprehended into captivity and uh in chains all right by the messiah how was the allah hayim all right in uh by yashida wada the house of david psalm 73 and 8 they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression they speak loftily you know like robert DeSantis. Whatever his name is, uh, DeSantis from Florida, you know, saying how you know slavery benefited us. Where do you get those talking points from? Uh, the wicked, 
um, confederacy of, of Edom, or a modern day Basra, okay, that has benefited off of our captivity, okay? So this is uh, verse 9. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. And this is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 10. And it reads, Because I have said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord Yehovah is there, and these two nations representing the two kingdoms of Israel, southern and northern kingdoms, all right, that split all right, during the time of um, uh, King Solomon. Okay? Case in point. Um, so it says, um, verse 11, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God Yehovah, I, I will do according to thine anger and according to thine eyes, or Salakia, according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. All right. And he, he's for making himself known. All right. Uh, by manifesting his Holy Spirit through us, man. All right. Prophesying against Mount Seir. All right. And this thing, you know, he prophesied in his very chapter towards the very top of this chapter. Okay. Within the gates of uh, the nobles, the nobility of Edom, the dukes of Edom. Okay. All right. Professing and proclaiming your downfall. Okay, and, and your and your uh, your 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 fate as a slave, okay, as slaves in the in the righteous kingdom of heaven. And this is why the earth the earth was given to the hands of the wicked because, you know, this you know the heavenly father is all about balance. So he he appointed you devil's rulership temporarily, through sin and Daniel the fourth chapter and so forth, only to transition over to the righteous. Okay. So this is uh Ezekiel thirty five and twelve, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate. They are given us to consume. Uh, it says, uh, Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and I have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus said the Lord God, how when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate, because you have destroyed the earth. Pursuant of Revelation 11, chapter, that's why you're going to be destroyed. Verse 15 says, And thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate. So will I do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. All right, Idumia is Greek for Edom, meaning red. And that's why you devils, all right, the blood of you devils is translucent through your skin, because that's a, a biblical leprosy, which is why you're plagued by the sun. The only nation on earth, all right, that, that suffers, all right, by way of that skin ailment, all right, is a further ensign of, of who you are, okay? You know, possessing a, the, the mark of Cain, all right? Because you were the descendants of Cain, all right? Cain in the Hebrew, kwaya, meaning a uh, uh, weapon, because he was a murderer. And that's why you, your blessing is a sword, okay? With your military industrial uh, complex for the represents. And that's why you allow a lot of people to cross a border, all right? Because you believe in, 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 in uh, death by a thousand cuts, so to say, all right? Especially through your military industrial complex, all right? That's why you support these uh, similar military groups like the United Nations, all right? These, these various foreign mercenaries allowed to cross a border, any mercenaries that that are um, that are of the nation of Israel, all right? Because case in point, there was a woman that went jogging the other day, and she she got brutally put to death by a man from Venezuela, as was reported by Esau's mainstream media and propaganda. Now I believe that that man was a, a mercenary, all right, a, a hire a, a agent for hire, so to say, because the story is just too fishy. Now, why would a why would a, a desperate so-called migrant immigrant, you know, okay, uh, you know? flee to America, Babylon Great, where he knows, uh, you know, where Esau despises him, okay, you know, and uh, uh, just, just to beg and then compromise his own well-being, okay, and name, and, and his people by taking out a woman, okay, could it be a, it could have been a bugged out Jake, but I believe that was actually an agent, all right, because a lot of them, the mercenaries, they're, they're, they're uh, you know, they're, they're um, sheltering them, all right, you know, with a military gear that, you know, uh, engaging his military drills and, you know, food and shelter and water and so forth. And that kind of aid is not being rendered to the, you know, these so-called Marxist immigrants actually sincerely coming over here for uh, better opportunities. All right. So that's not element of it, you know, of Esau accusing uh, our brethren in Revelation, the 12th chapter, sending around this whole uh, border crisis slash migrant surge situation. All right. Because he has hatred for us. All right. That's why he stole our identity. If it has perpetrated fraud for so long, all right, and this devil uh, contributed to it, okay. So this is um, 
This is um, Ezekiel Salakia. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 36. Verse um, 5, and it reads, Therefore thus said the Lord God, how was surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. All right. So you you devils have appointed the, the land, the holy land of, of, of Jerusalem <clears throat> into, into your into your possession. All right. The holy land of Israel, in this case, into your possession. All right. Uh, 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 going back to 1948 Alright Going back to 1967 During the Six Day War you, you brought for the bloodshed On that land The Holy Land Okay Alright And what does it say In Deuteronomy uh, 19 <clears throat> Deuteronomy uh, 19 And uh, Was it 15 Now Salakia Um, thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. I think it's in the 14th verse. Yep. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance. Okay. Which thou shalt inherit in the land of the Lord. How thy power give it to thee to possess? And who did he give the land? Who did the Lord give the land, the holy land to? The Israelites. Not the Edomites perpetrating to be the Israelites. These false names, like Israelis and Zionists and so forth. That's why the, the brother. Uh, I think believe I uploaded a video earlier, re-uploaded a video from a brother that was rebuking the hell out of a rabbi. Because case in point, you know, two things on that note. All right. Going, you know, you devils have been known to use propaganda to further support your false claims that it shows the people. And then you're not even supposed to be called rabbi. Because how should I even say, call no man rabbi for only one is your father. So you devils are just being exposed in every which way imaginable. Because you're at your wit's end. You're at your end of, of your rulership. All right. Uh, back in Ezekiel... 36 and uh, 6. And it reads, Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys. Thus said the Lord God, Yahweh, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. And we have borne the shame of the heathen. Okay? All right, because shame is being brought upon these devils, man. And how we, how we, uh, how we, would have, how, how do we bear the, the shame of the heathen? All right, through captivity. Okay, going through these curses. All right, being including being referred to as bowers and proverbs like Negro, Black, African American, Afro American, colored shiners. All right, uh, 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 coons, niggas. All right, spicks, um, uh, uh, um, wetbacks. They Esau actually had an operation known as Operation Wetback before they even became a slur. All right. Uh, you have Chicano, Latino, Indian, meaning savage, and so forth. Okay. All right. So the, the, those those curses for identify who the lost tribes of Israel are. All right. This is Ezekiel thirty six and seven. Therefore, thus said the Lord God Yahweh, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. Like 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 these these old decrepit devils I mentioned in the beginning of the epistle, dropping dead. Okay, the decrepit, vulnerable state. Okay. You know, because 87 ain't nothing, man. Even 101 ain't nothing. Because we're, we're going to live, you know, you're going to be immortal, man. I mean, like Methuselah, Methuselah, I believe, was the oldest man at like um, almost a thousand years old. Okay? So so the, the, the age you devils are dying is pathetic with all the resources and power they have. For the confirming that they're not, that they're, that they're, that they're uh, the, the, um, all right, they are the, uh, the basis of all men. It's back in Job 21. And 13, it reads, they spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Okay. All right. And essentially that word, that word there for grave, that word there for hell, there's a word that the Hebrew word hell, Shawa'al or Sha'al, it's synonymous with the word grave, meaning pit, symbolic of death and destruction. And it's like what you devils have been experienced. Evelyn Rothschild. All right. Uh, David Rockefeller. Uh, there's uh, uh, um, Jacob Rothschild as recently, Queen Elizabeth. Okay. And more of you going to join. This list of reprobates and, and and decrepit devils. Okay. So um. So this is um. This is uh Sirach chapter thirteen verse twenty two. 
It reads, when a rich man is fallen, he hath many helpers. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and could have no place because, um, you know, the, the words that we speak are right, not of this world. And this is why Yahweh Shem and Shai uses us to condemn the wicked. Okay, case in point. All right, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he said, they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Like even our own people, like this nigga, Charleston White is recently saying, oh, I don't, I'm going to subscribe to being a Hebrew Israelite. You know, I, I, just, I, I just, I subscribe to being a nigga and this, that, and a third. Okay. All right. So he was scoffing and scorning. So, you know, and that's why I say Matthew says, um, for every other word a man shall speak, he shall be uh, held accountable, account, uh, accountable for, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. So we have many enemies because we are, we are at the, uh, the lower echelon of, of uh, the totem pole, so to say. We don't have any power. All right. As is prophesied. And this is why in St. James chapter 2, St. James chapter 2, verse 5, and it reads, Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them to love him? But he have despised the poor. It says, But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? And have been doing that. Okay? Now, like, like Yahweh Shai, the man himself, Yahweh Shai. All right, before Pontius Pilate and them, before the judgment seats, okay, the magistrates and such, to decide his fate, okay? And that's going to happen to us, like how I said, you know, the servant is not above his lord, not above his master. So they're going to persecute us in the Freemasonic courtrooms, man. And, you know, you know, you know, certain, you know, certain saints are going to be beheaded, all right, for the namesake of Yahweh by Shem and Shai, you know, we in Revelation 20 chapter, all right? Because we are vulnerable, we are the poor, we are vulnerable. Okay, no military call to claim as our own, no, uh, uh, um, you know, no, no government to claim as our own. Okay, no economic prowess because why? We're, we're impoverished. Okay, like I said in Revelation, uh, the book of Revelation, it says, um, Revelation, the second chapter, all right, says that the real people of the most high would be impoverished in that very chapter. All right, so this doesn't fit the bill of you, of you, you damn uh, bankers. Okay. That have established, all right, a uh, feeble, vile profane nation, the lowest of all of them to be us, to perpetrate to be us. And you're gonna pay for that, all right? With captivity, egregious captivity, okay? Then, and then he will be destroyed, all right? So Jacob Rothschild, you gonna you gonna wake up with a chain in your neck, boy, okay? And the rest of them devils I just mentioned, Job twenty one and fourteen. Therefore they say unto the Most High, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. <laughs> What is our Almighty that we should serve Him, and what profit should we have? If we pray unto Him, and you know this this photo right here is a perfect example of that. And they're clearly worshiping Satan, okay? Hence, who, uh, uh, why he's standing next to this damn witch, literal witch, into spirit cooking, man, into uh, you know blood and semen, you know, so fucking detestable. I'm not even going to go into more detail of it. Case in point, but you devils is so obviously you're not following the true ways of Yahweh by Shemeshai, and this is why you're dying. You know, like it says in Second Ezra seven chapter, do the things. Do do the things uh, to avoid punishment. Job 21 and 16. Lo, the good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How often is the count of the wicked put out and how oft cometh the destruction upon them? <coughs> it's like it. The most high God, you how distribute the sorrows in his anger. They are, they are as stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm carried away. The most high God, you how it layeth up his iniquity for his children he rewardeth him, and he shall know it, because reward is not always a good thing. Pursuing Isaiah 59 and 18. And the reward of, 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 of the devil is a, 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 a wrathful expectation, which is death and destruction. Okay? And, and your death might not always be brutal, but it's death nonetheless. It's, it, it's a it's an end of your uh fair omen of the end of your empire. Because the, the more of the top nobility members of Edom are dropping dead. To the point to where there's really no one memorable left or no or, or well known left except for um uh the one that looks like Chesbury Borgia. Okay. Okay, I believe his name is David Rothschild. But anyway, Joe 21 and 19, the most high God Yahweh layeth up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth him and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. And this is what you devil experiencing right now. Okay? The the wrath of the cup of the Almighty, righteous indignation, righteous anger, okay? your demise 
and a further insight to come. So with that, I'm going to end it off on a note. Pray these epistles for the edifying the Jordan and T. Like and give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and was the God of the living Yahweh. And by Hashem, you have Shai, Barach, for blessing me the spirit to do this video. With that, my wasla, to the wicked. All right, and Shalom to the elect. On to the next one.